go. Let me see if I can get this straight. For My Little Pony, they had to be Christmas episode in October, like a week before the Halloween episode. And for the push up they had a Halloween episode in late November after Thanksgiving, right before December. I am not kidding. I, the title is it just from a horror pun thing. This is a Halloween episode. Frequently. I mean, they came close with some horror themed episode, you know, with the fast video, but this Halloween episode. And to make it, it well, uh, to be fair, well, if they say a fourth ever king in like in November and then Kabara king in, they couldn't really get away around that. Because they couldn't say in Friday November or anything like that because they had the premiere episode, but it's so baffling. Halloween November. That's what the Kimkim used to do and to get a Kimkim. Uh we'll get to that in a second. Um but whatever. Baffling if they basically didn't do a Christmas pony thing, I wouldn't be so mad, but whatever. Let's pretend it's October. I think I lost my Mac uh, I can't leave, but uh yeah, just take me out long. We've got to keep around for next year, but no. Um But anyway, Little Less Pet Shop of Horror, written by David Shane. Um, so, in this episode, I kept mentioning on the blog how I should be doing Shack Horror type things, and they had yet another one on top of it. I don't remember the frequent one log. I think Spank Go, I was looking for one to do that. I should like that one. Um, so yeah, this one I did too, and it was scary storytelling kind, where they're at Pet Shop on Halloween, they're telling scary stories, and... They do make a joke about paying a match to tell <laughs> Um, see, I can tell a story about it. Um, team, guest star, guest star, one, three, one, one. Um, and that gets me the episode. Um, and I, and structurally, it's not quite as good as some other ones, but it was still a really good one, actually. It was really funny, too. Every story had a big joke in it that was like, you know, like, like four, but one of them got short, so I can kind of give it. And then the end of a subplot with Roger going, going on, where he really jet lagged and tired after well, playing again now. He basically thinks all the creatures going around like are real, and the kicking a pie, I thought they might put him on the plane so he can, you know, do a little chat and everything, but they don't. Uh, you can't top the one with Dinkleberry, I suppose. Um, <laughs> but. Yeah, and, uh, I guess got a lot of jokes in it, um, I, let's come with the story, the first one, it, it does what kind of, the first terror, terror of the part from Regular Story did by starting with that first story and revealing the telling story afterwards. They can eat ending up in a zombie apocalypse in the pet shop, and her costume is, it's, she's a cowgirl on, like, a horse, and can't move a horse in. Yeah, it's, if you got it, someone's my body may be correct, and it's not even a discount version or anything. It's literally Applejack, right there, right. Now I just got to eating Applejack, and when I first saw that, I'm like, wait, 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 what? I had to go back and kind of the context of that. But you know, but that can gonna be a box and that one's good and funny and a ton to it. Uh, Penny Ling is scared about that story. I call it lame as a good story. Um, the second one, it was a story. Of them ruckle competing like a vampire in the pet shop because this guy coming in and everyone can hammer with the, the bat guy and they where get a song and it's really catchy it's still in my head <laughs> it is pretty catchy um uh but the song's a little weird yeah, at the end of everyone talking about the story and they're like song's all gimmicky I'm like <laughs> um, I'm pulling off a joke god damn it um but the next one is Mingery it is Mingery with, with Pepper, you know, with Pengling in the evil scary old and <coughs> I killed me. Uh, the uh, Fox doing that real funny, but looking at him fucking. Um, and that one was good. That Mingery, of all the story you could pick, like, Mingery, pick the Mingery, okay. Um, then the last one is Frankenstein. Fitting, the thing that we just came out. Um, you know, and. And it's Dr. Kneem sign, but he's a doctor, a monster, actually, really. And those are the story mixed in, and they're all good and funny. Some more, like, the rough one is really short. That's the song that pretty much ends there. 
you know, it's not too bad, because I think they could have done a lot more with that. But, oh, uh, that's not IP, and you necessarily kept it in the main one. But they are wickedly funny, and they get the yeah, for now, and I would have felt it better if I wasn't watching it. Look at given that kind of feeling. It looks like February or whatever. I don't have any holiday feeling. I'm, I'm, then, but can't come as my giving them promotion. Come on, it's like whatever. And they again, yeah, really catching song. I mean, it's no, 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 no. But it's still pretty damn good. And it's, again, dreadfully not great for the anti for the four story. And you know, compliant. We could have cut out of the story. But I guess they needed a song in here. I've been mean, a song in a couple episodes. Going with, okay, let's put song in there. Uh, and again, apparently, you can get it. Uh, I'm going to talk about your fan game, you know, between the next flip and don't go freaking skimp again. Still the best thing ever. Um, it's not a whole lot of game kind of thing, because it's not much of a story, it's just them telling them. And it's a storytelling contest. Um, whoever do get to wear the content of Thanksgiving. No. <laughs> it's not that of a game. I think, well, you know. <laughs> um, and it. Again, and again, it. And of course, you get a bit of a. Of course, a fake ounce. And then, I guess. Um. Um. But not a whole lot to the plot. And there doesn't need to be. It's like. took a comedy. It, it's maybe not quite to. It's almost to level with a few other ones, but. I think the one thing that's going to be with that fact that they're in fourth story and, and, and while Territorial Park 5 kind of did that pretty well with one, the next couple of stories end up being kind of rushed compared to the other ones. I love kind of, and, and again, you could say, well, they take, and again, they have a cup plot, and I don't know why they needed that. It was really funny, but I don't think they needed that. But, the, well, I thought better than last two episodes, I'll say that. I thought it would be funny episode. I mean, if you take away the fact that Russell Park is a bit short and the fact that uh, Russell Park might not be necessary, it's going to go spooky and funny and it's the best thing I definitely want to be good, uh, even though I'm watching it in, after Thanksgiving. Oh well. And yes, I am doing that before an LP1 because that and a bigger one, if I go from that to this, that would be weird. So I'm doing this first. I bet that could take a bit to watch 40 minutes ago. I got more material to cover there. So, you know, that not a lot to say. I'm sorry, uh, it will go, it, it might not have been a weird airing, not the most best structure, but pretty spooky, funny, catchy song. Pretty good episode, go. So, so yeah, um, next week we have Game of Groans. Appropriate title. But, uh, there we go. I will see you for the grand finale in a PV for a while at least.